Hello and welcome to this video on how to flash firmware using MaxView Storage Manager. To update the controller firmware using MaxView Storage Manager, you'll first need to download the firmware image file from the controller support page. To begin, let's go to microsemi.com. Select the support tab and then navigate to microsemi adaptech raid slash hba support. In the support page, choose the MicroSemi Adaptech product for which you want to upgrade the firmware. In this video, we'll demonstrate firmware upgrade for Smart RAID 3100 adapters. Choose a controller from the Smart RAID 3100 product family. Here we've chosen Smart RAID 3162 8i E with Max Crypto Controller based encryption. In the Downloads section, Click on BIOS Updates and Other Downloads. To download the latest firmware, click on the file name. Then, click on the Download Now icon. Accept the terms and conditions to download the file. To download the firmware file, click on the Download from HTTP server link. Save the zip file in your local drive. Extract the file contents and note the destination folder for future reference. Open and log in to MaxView Storage Manager. In the Enterprise view, select the system. You can update a system with multiple controllers or even a single controller. In this video, you'll see how to update the firmware of the controllers in a system. On the ribbon, in the System group, click the Firmware Update icon. When the wizard opens, select the device type, Controller, then click Next. Select the controllers you want to update, then click Next. You have two flashing options. Choose the Toggle Image option only if the firmware image in the active ROM is not responding and you want to replace it with the backup image. You can choose the flash mode to either flash both the active and backup ROM area with the new firmware image or you can also choose to flash just the active ROM area. Once chosen, click Next. Click Choose. Browse to the firmware image file in the destination folder noted previously. Point to the .bin file. Make sure you're uploading a correct firmware image. Updating an invalid image will render the controller unusable. Click Open, then click Next. When you see the file name appearing in the Uploaded Firmware Files list, click Next to update the firmware image. Review the update summary, then click Finish. This may take some time to update. Do not power down the controllers while the update is in progress. Restart the server to activate the new firmware image. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on our storage solutions, visit our Smart Storage website listed in the description of this video.